Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about a new automation creating folders for um, a project that you already know that you're going to need uh, a specific set of folders for. So if you were, for example, um, a web developer, you would need things like a folder for code, a folder for Word documents, a folder for HTML documents, and so on and so on. So I'm going to create a automator application that will automatically create that um, those set of folders for you. So you don't have to go through, each time you have a project, create a um, set of folders. That will be automatically already done. So let's get started. I'm going to start Automator. And we're going to say New Document. And then I made this mistake um, when I first created um, the application to test um, the project for this video. So we're going to say application and get it right the first time. All right. So now um, we just create a set of uh, steps. And we combine them and we save it to create the final application. So now we're going to search for ask for text. So because um, when you create a project you're going to have a, a root directory, a root folder that you're going to name. All right. So we're going to type ask for text to find the action. And here it is, ask for text. Boom. And what's your um, project? What's the question going to be? Project. name what is the project name Okay, we have to put in an answer, so we're going to put a default name, and it's going to be a required, this question is going to have to be answered, it won't move forward unless it has an answer. Okay. That's the, oh, we need the check the require an answer checkbox. Now on to the next step. Set value of variable. Here we go. This is the variable that's referencing the name of the project. We're gonna Let's 
is a project mm. done on to the that was easy on to the next one which is um, ask for finder items this is going to tell um, the application where to save these new folders that you create. We're going to go as for finder items. And then we're gonna. It's it's already set by default as um, the desktop, but we're gonna change the type to files and folders. Now we are going to. Um, set another variable there we go set value of variable now we're going to um, choose a new one uh, call it path at because that's going to be where the it's going to reference the path of where the folder where the files are saved okay now we're going to get value of a variable getting the value of a variable you're going to reference this um, first variable here the project name so we search for get value of a variable and here it is or is that the um, uh, project name. Now we are going to, for the last, well, sort of the last step, we are going to run a, sh uh, a shell script. And Automator makes running a shell script very easy. Just type here, run a shell script. And you want to set the, it's already set to bash, and because that's the def default language for, uh, script language for Mac OS, as well as Linux. That's why it's Mac is, has a Linux-based kernel. But we are going to set the pass input to, as arguments. And then... We are going to clear this section. Then we are going to create a make the original path a path for the folders. So it's going to say. Um, MKDIR, or going to say quotation marks, dollar sign one, slash, dollar sign two, quotation marks, 
then that's you can go with the script right there but of course we want to create more directories this is just the path to where the folders will go um, so we're going to say we are going to copy this up to here and so we don't have to type it over and over except for what we add so we're going to save this and say slash documents Create another directory and call it images. Make a third and call it video. And of course, you guys know to create a folder within a folder, you just create another uh, slash. And put it on the same line. So we're not gonna do what uh, do that for this example. And then finally we're gonna create a final to to input your final product into. So let's say finals. And that's that. Now we can save the um, application and it will automatically um, be in our applications folder. So let's try it out. We're going to save first. But we are going to go to applications. I'm going to call it folder example. There we go. So now let's close um, Automator. And do a, a uh, search for the application. So I open up Spotlight and search for folder example app. And here it is, the first one. I'm going to run it and type a name like I showed you in the beginning. Um, video, let's call it video structures. Okay. Video structures or choose the location and there it is you have a folder a root folder that's called video structures and if you open it up you'll see all the documents that were originally created this is the root folder that you give a name to, uh, you ask for a name, and then the default folders are the ones that were created using the bash uh, shell scripts. 
um, obviously you can even um, within that bash script you can automatically create a file like let's see let's say um, uh, a readme file created in markdown you can have it automatically created into one of these folders alright guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments section down below like it and subscribe to my channel I'm really um, looking to increase my subscriber base and um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for the next automation. Alright guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.